Hi, John with eTrailer. Today we're taking a look at Kurt's four-way trailer wiring harness on our 2023 Mazda CX-50. This is a four-way flat plug. This is one of the most popular plugs out there for light duty towing and for lighting um, accessories like uh, bike racks that have lights on them and everything else. This kit is a safe way to add trailer light wiring to your Mazda. It has a module that's gonna protect all the circuitry inside the Mazda. It protects it against back feeds, against shortages. Um, you know, it's gonna connect up through the tail lights on either side. Uh, you have to splice in, but uh, we should kind of show you step by step how to do it. It's not too involved. And then we run a, some wires around here. We run a power wire up to the battery. This module doesn't run off of anything on your car, which is another nice feature. It's self powered. Um, and as far as the installation goes, it's not too bad. Um, if you want to see how we do it, and I can walk you through step by step, stick around. Uh, to begin our installation here, we need to get the tail lights off. And so there's a. Uh, little lever down here. I just used a pick tool. I'm going to go in between like that and pop up. That's going to expose two Phillips head screws. We'll pull those out. And you should be able to grab both sides. We're going to pull straight back out towards the back of the car. Just like this. Not a whole lot of room, so you be careful with your paint and everything, but we're gonna get this, uh, get this wire loom. Feed this around so we can get a little bit of working room here. So I was able to loosen the uh, wiring loom from up here. This will expose the wires on the back side. Since we're on the passenger side, we just need to find the right turn signal. Now let's walk over to the driver's side because we did the same thing over here. We took the tail light loose and when you take it loose, you'll see a gap in between the bumper fascia and the body here. And we ran a large thick wire down. So if you got a coat hanger, I wouldn't necessarily use a coat hanger, but if you have a long piece of wire or something to fish down, uh, it's going to go on the underside here, right by your tail pipe. We just wrapped the wires. Let me run this down here and just show you. So our module here uh, is going to mount on the inside of our bumper and that's what I did. So I took the three wires here, we have red, yellow, and black, and I taped them to the other end of this big thick wire here and that's what we're pulling up. All these other wires are going to stay down low. The ground here, the power, and then the green, which are going to be running over to the passenger side, but we're going to go over here under the bumper and fish it up just like we're going to fish these wires up here. So let's go back up to the top and I'll show you what I'm doing. Just kind of pulling it up, feeding it in between the bumper fascia. And so you can see where I taped the wires and these are the three that we want. What we have here is the red is going to be our brake, the brown is going to be our tail lights, and the yellow is going to be our left-hand turn signals. So we're going to pin out the wires on this side and connect them. I've got a notebook here and I wrote down, I pinned out all the colors here. Um, and we'll just show you real quick. I just used a test light. I have a good solid ground down on the frame. And since I already know it, we're looking at the black wire with the blue tracer here. That's our turn signal. We just turned the turn signal on on the car. And this is actually the right color combination for both sides. So. We have it right here. It's going to be black with a blue tracer. It's going to be your left turn on this side. It'll also be the turn signal on your passenger side. The black wire right up here with the brown tracer. That's going to be your tail light circuit. And then the solid blue one right there. That's going to be your brake light circuit. So let's go ahead and get these connected. So I'll take a razor knife and I'll carefully cut the shrouding back from our wires here. That just will give us a little bit more room to work with. So included with your kit, you have these snap connectors here. We're going to start with the stop wire, and that's the solid blue one on here. Um, basically, 
the outside of this, you can see clear through it, and then the inside one has a stop on it. It's only, you can only put the wire in from one side. That's where your red wire is gonna go, on that side. And then we'll connect this to the solid blue on our Mazda here, because that's the stop signal. You just wanna make sure that everything's in there and lined up. Then you take a pair of pliers. And you just push down on the metal. Just like that. You give it a tug and put the cover over. That's one connection. We'll move on to the left turn signal. That's gonna be our black with the blue tracer here. That's gonna be the yellow wire from our module. And we'll just connect this the same way. So that they're not all in just one big bundle under here. There's not a whole lot of room on these cars and these plastic clips are kind of bulky, but we're gonna be all right. And finally, the tail light circuit. Trying to move my hand so you can see what I'm doing here, but it's just like all the other ones we did. So this is gonna be our tail light circuit. That's the brown wire from the module, and it's going on the black wire with the brown tracer here. So, that's all the connections for this side in the tail light housing. Right now we can loosely place the tail light so we're down here at the lower left hand uh, of the car, and this is the green wire that get, we're going to be running over to the passenger side. We also have our four-way flat wire, uh, the white ground wire, and then there's a black power wire that we're going to be hooking up later. Right now we'll concentrate on the green wire. I'm going to run this up and inside the bumper so it doesn't get tangled up with the exhaust. You want to avoid that. And we can run it pretty much with this hitch. If you are interested in getting a hitch, we put this one on. We have a video. Uh, this is a Kurt Class 2, or Class 3, excuse me. And you can watch the video on how to install it. It really was an easy, easy install. This is a piece of wire that we did on the other side. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to fish this down. Just got it taped on here with some electrical tape and we'll fish this up through. So we'll do this just like the driver's side. We're looking for the black with blue tracer. Sometimes you need to open these things up just a little bit. Just give that a squeeze just like the other side. Close this up, and then we'll loosely put this one back. Now we'll come back down to the driver's side under here, and we're going to be hooking up the black wire that came in your kit. It's a big, long wire here. Um, this is going to power the converter. And so it does come with a butt connector. Uh, I'm using the heat shrink butt connector here. We have these available here at eTrailer since it's going to be under the vehicle like this. I uh, prefer heat shrinks. Keeps the wires just cleaner for a little bit longer here. Now this black wire is going to connect to the black wire on the converter box that's up here. Kevin, how long have you been down here today? Oh. So we'll have that. And then we'll need to connect the ground here with the supplied self-tapping screw. Now the ground here, you can shoot that with some uh, clear coat or since it's under the car, any color spray paint that you have and that'll keep the rust and corrosion off of that. Uh, so the next step is to run our black wire up to the front of the car. I'm going to do that now and uh, secure it and everything and I'll show you the route that I took. So I'll show you real quick. We went from the back corner here up and around 
through this little spot in the frame and I ran it up high up here away from all of this moving stuff this is all-wheel drive so we want to keep the wire away from that stuff I just zip tied it to this brake line we dropped down on the other side of the cross member here went under this pan all the way up to the front and we're gonna drop a wire down just like we did for the tail lights and we'll link up to this and pull it up into the engine compartment. We pulled the wire up just behind the battery here. I like to keep it close to the firewall uh, because we're only coming right here to the battery positive side. It has a black cover on it. And so I'm gonna leave right to here. That's gonna be plenty of wire. The kit comes with a fuse holder. Uh, once again, we're using uh, e-trailers, um, butt connectors, the heat shrink and everything. Now, currently the fuse is not in here, so it's going to be safe for us to go ahead and make this connection. We'll strip this wire back. Attach it to the fuse holder. And on the other side, we're going to use the included ring terminal. Crimp that. And I think today we're going to connect it up to here. I'm going to snake this around under here so that the cap can still close and we'll put it under here. Take our 12 millimeter. You want to be careful doing this since the battery is still connected. If you want it to be on the safe side, you can disconnect the negative side when you do this, but if you're careful, it's fine. Let's snug that up. And then we can insert the fuse. And the fuse is included, it's a 15 amp fuse. And we'll take a heat source, we're going to heat shrink this and we can take the supplied zip ties and secure this nicely under the hood. So now's a good time to test and make sure that everything is working properly. Um, we have these testers here available at eTrailer if you're interested. We're going to hook this up and then we're going to have an assistant hop in the vehicle and have them run through the lights for us. You can turn on the parking lights or headlights and you can see that the tail lights are working. Then you can hit the brakes. The brakes are working. Left turn signal and right turn signal. So with everything wired correctly, you can go ahead and reassemble the vehicle. And that was a look at Kurt's four-pole trailer wiring harness kit on our 2023 Mazda CX-50.